Hey there, welcome to my channel. After a long time, I'm back to the YouTube. Apologies for the significant delay due to my health issues. So let's finish this project by continuing the pending episodes. Today in this episode, we'll be working on the card section for customers and uh, some of the other functionalities for vendors in order to give a save towards completion of this project. I have received many emails regarding completion of the functionalities. So we will try to continue to complete the functionalities module wise. Afterward, we will move forward to the microservices architecture so existing viewers can have a production ready back and in hand. If you are a React Native app series viewer, definitely you might have thinking why I am publishing this rather continue the app series. The idea behind this, the backend is running for mobile app is hosted on Heroku that is running, that is written on ES6. And the current backend series is written on TypeScript that is not identical to the uh, to the ES6 version. Some of the features which is will not be covered with the, the TypeScript version. I wish to match the progress of uh, backend series and the front-end mobile series uh, in the same page. So if you are thinking to start such a project, you can have a fully functional backend and mobile app bot pretty much ready uh, by following these two series. All right, so uh, let's go to the source code uh, to understand like, you know, what is the progress so far we have covered here. Uh, as you can see on the screen in the in the right hand side, you can see this is the mobile application which is we have covered pretty much good amount of functionality in, in terms of like till order section. Uh, right after the login and all those things and here in the back end also we we did the same but some of the features which is still missing so let's add the missing pieces here in the back end first and after that once this uh, this is fully covered then we will be we will be uh, continuing with the request and response from the mobile app rather than uh, calling the whole uh, request from the postman good so um i'm gonna close this one So in the card section, we have added three routes. So all these three routes are gonna be handle our adding card and uh, getting the all card items and deleting the card items, all right. Why the card is necessary? So without card also, we can add the orders, right? So the card is necessary because you might have a multiple devices for the same account. So once you added your card items to one device, then other uh, device also can have the same items. That, that's why we are adding this card feature, so at least once you add the items to your cart, then all those items will be available for other devices also. So let's add the functionality to this cart. This function doesn't exist, so what we will be doing here, we will be going to the controllers. Uh, we'll be going to the, uh, the customer controller here. In the customer controller. In the customer controller right after the edit profile, edit customer profile right before create the order here here we'll be putting our uh, our functionalities now well, now in the add to cart section is it it will be pretty much similar just like uh, this this create order okay so our customer route is complaining why because these are not not uh, these are not added so add to cart this is not add to cart and definitely uh, this is we need to uh, import here okay so get customer profile let's break it in the, in the multiple line okay here that's good now it is not complaining anymore yeah not complaining anymore so uh, in the add to cart section, go to the add to cart here, we will be putting some uh, similar kind of functionality like create order. Good. All right, so in add to cart functionality, we will be just looking for something like in like, you know, order section, create order section. Const, we will be looking for customer. Customer will be okay with that user. And after that, we will check if customer has exist then we'll be adding our cart items right and if this doesn't exist then we'll be simply saying something like this all right like this all right else here unable to create cart all right so we are having already we have we, we are looking for customers. If the customer is existed, then what we will do? We will be looking for a profile. Uh, what I am going to do? Some of the portion we can utilize here. Let's say this one, the customer profile. Um, customer profile here. 
just add it here. Right. Then what we'll be doing here, um, else we can we can do something like this way. But otherwise, uh, what we can do, uh, let's remove this else part. So definitely, if uh, if this profile is not uh, available, then it will just uh, falling back to this this condition. All right. Now, if if profile is uh, not null, then check for existing check for card items. And now, uh, what we are going to do um, first to grab the card items. So in the, in that case, we need to have this one here, and let's say card items will be kind of array uh, it's a kind of array and uh, before that what we need to do whatever the request we are sending to adding to the card that is we need to grab that what we will do here so here we will be putting something like uh, order input because in our order we input will be having the ID of the specific food and unit number of the unit. So these things we can reuse here. Good, reuse here. Mm, uh, but we can deconstruct the object also, something like this way. Then ID and unit. Good. Now, uh, now we need to look for the existing food. Whatever requesting, whatever food we will be request for add to card. That is, we need to check if that the food ID is exist or not. Then right before checking this profile thing, you know, then we need to check uh, whether the food is exist or not. If that the food is doesn't exist, then it's it doesn't make sense to go to the profile section. Now uh, um, check for the card items. Uh, if that the profile has the same some kind of card items, then then we will be uh, edit that specific unit. And if this doesn't have any um, any item on that the card item. Then we'll be adding to adding some new items to the card. Well, this card is doesn't exist, I guess. Yeah. So what what we need to do? We need to go to the customer uh, model here. So here, uh, in the declaration, we will be adding one more parameter that is going to be like card, and card will be any any type of data. That's good. So here in the schema, also we need to declare the same. So in this in this schema, what we will be doing here? Uh, card will be a kind of array. Um, okay, that can have some kind of object, and that object can have two elements. One is gonna be food, and uh, second will be our unit. unit. So food can have uh, a type that is gonna be like. All right. So card will be a kind of bunch of array of a food. Uh, put uh, I mean put schema or food model reference and uh, unit will be a kind of some kind of number how many how many items you have added for a part specific put so that is we need to record keep keep record of this one now let's go to the here in this section uh, in terms of the customer controller here so now we can get the card as any so here we will be checking like um, if the card item card items dot length will be have uh, greater than zero then we will be check second update mm, update unit it else will be add new one add new item to uh, where uh, add new item to that that specific card good so here car item start push will be some kind of food that is we are grabbing here because we are we are keeping the food as a key and uh, the value because uh, as you know in, in ES6 we know need to uh, if suppose that the value name also same then we know need to keep a, a keep an extra key so you still you can keep the extra key like you know food maybe like this way so uh, we are happy with this and you need also will be the same okay so here we need to check whether this, this specific uh, food item already exists in the card items or not. To figure out that issue, uh, we need to check. Right. So here, uh, this item food and ID it will be coming from here in the profile. 
because the profile is grabbing this all those things right so here what we need to do we need to add something and that is going to be like we need to populate our all those put informations from this array because as you can see here we are adding this card right and the card the card can have uh, the profile can have a card the card can have a food and uh, all the food information we need to add so we need to populate this food also right there then only we can get this uh, this id from here so populate and here we will put simply card not put so now we will be having that existing food items if it is there already exist then it will give you, give us some kind of array okay array of any if it has some kind of length existing food dot length is greater than zero then else again we will do the same thing if it doesn't exist then uh, push this item right here good here um one more logic we need to do like if the really that the specific item is exist then let index or maybe you can say like const index will be our car item items then index of that is will be exist food items will be zero the first index we are looking for okay because it is giving some uh, kind of array that's why uh, now um if that the existing item is there then it we are we are getting the current index then we need to look into like if uh, the specific unit is uh, if greater than zero uh, index uh, unit will be greater than zero then we will be simply um, simply editing this stuff and else uh, if we are just removing this item from the list because if you are uh, if you are edit them um, if you are adding to this uh, item as a zero then definitely it will be removed from the car items also so car items mm, car item splice Slice index and only one item per from specific index. That's good. Now, uh, car items items per index is um, will be our new food and item uh, in it. Now looks good. So we are successfully adding this uh, item. So uh, I'm, I'm again gonna explain. Like you know, first of all, we are looking for ex um, a customer here, and once we are getting the customer, customer is uh, is exist. Then uh, definitely we are looking for the card items from the profile. Okay, customer profile. So customer profile will having the card and food items also. So in this item uh, here, in from the request body, we are just grabbing that specific car, uh, food item. And we are looking for that specific food uh, from the database if it is, if it is exist. Then we will be going to uh, the card items to evaluate like uh, that specific card items, whichever whichever we are trying to add that is already exist or not. If it is not exist, then it will be adding to a adding a new item, adding as a new item to the card items. And after that, if it is really exist, then definitely it will be uh, it will be look for that, spe that specific uh, index and it is updating that the new unit okay for that specific put or if it is really exist but you want to delete this thing then unit will be passing zero then it will be removing from the our from our car items and uh, and at last so what we will be doing we will be looking for if the profile is exist profile is exist then only we will be will be updating this stuff okay so finally we have uh, added the card item functionality so let's check it out uh, if, if it is working perfectly fine and send okay it is giving some error set of the error. okay and that's perfectly fine maybe uh, this token is not working so again login copy copy um add to card it's not bear to continue from parent okay cancel now I'm go to body i'm gonna clear the screen okay send yeah can you see uh, we are we are we are getting this uh, food right you need this one and if i'm going to add this thing so let's let's say two then definitely it is updating the two right and again if i'm going to remove this thing so let's say zero then it is giving me zero that's good right so um this add to card functionality is done so we will be working on the get card functionality here 
get card functional is very simple so what we will be doing here so get card will be this one and let's let's complete delete card they complete the delete card also in the same way so what we are going to do if some of the functional way maybe it will be the same so here so here card doesn't like this card is empty card is already empty card is already empty and here we are looking for the customer and what we will be doing here profile uh, profile is not equal null null not equal null then we will what we will do here and right so let's uh, have a try with these two functionalities also from your customer this two right so here what we will be going to do like uh, we will be we'll be adding one more item see we are adding one more item one and we are just adding two that's a two okay and uh, now what we are going to do like let's say add some more food from here we're adding this one okay customer we're adding one more this one this one will be supposed four items three items at uh, as you can see in the card there are two items right mm, let's go to card get card so here operation will be this one it, it has only get functionality so get items as you can see there are two two cards are displaying right here good and again the delete card will be will will do the same way so delete card authentications authorizations we will be putting in read from our parent and body doesn't have anything and it's a kind of delete method right and delete request so just to put these things as you can see now uh, it card is empty only orders we do have here good so our card section is totally done here now what we will be going to do uh, we'll be working on the vendor section so um, uh, the orders whatever we have added that is not handled from the vendor vendor section so user can able to create the order and user user can able to see the orders but the order is doing nothing that means vendor vendor should have to receive the order once order order is received then vendor will be processed it or process that order to uh, in order to deliver the prop food product to the uh, customer's doorstep okay so in that case what we will be doing uh, in the go to the vendor road here uh, right after foods we will be adding some functionality that is going to be like um, orders orders all right so these are the three routes which is going to be handle our order section for vendors okay so uh one more thing i have renamed uh, my vendor stuff like uh, it's vendor yeah, earlier it was a kind of a typo it's a kind of vendor <laughs> i apologize for that thing that's the simple typo what we are going to do like we are we are going to handle all those features for uh, vendor in the vendor uh, controller here vendor controller first thing uh, right after the get foods uh, in the get foods here we're putting some kind of functionality that's going to be like export cons all right so these are these are the three functions we need to take care of here in the vendor route here okay in the get current order it, it will have from here good in the get current order first of all we need to grab the user first vendor first then uh, request dot user a lot of white space if user is exist then look for something and again what we'll be doing in this these things we have the best here if there is nothing is there if there is no user or nothing is happening or maybe falling back maybe something is going wrong then they're falling back to the this section right? okay if user is exist then we will be look for cons orders order dot uh, find 
fine here we need to put something that is gonna be like order can have vendor ID vendor ID uh, this is again a same mistake vendor ID and user dot ID and we need to public public items dot food okay so this uh, vendor it does, it, this vendor doesn't exist in the order so we need to add this vendor in the in the order section in the order model right so in the order model uh, what we will do here may here maybe right after the order ID we will add the vendor ID it's a kind of string all right good this vendor ID is necessary in order to track the order how many order has been settled by the vendor uh, to figure out this is this ID is necessary exactly so we are putting these things right here and again uh, in the order schema also uh, right after the order ID only putting this one here now it is working properly properly because the order can have a vendor ID and the vendor ID will be whatever the vendor current vendor we are passing right here and inside that the order order can have items and put as you can see here uh, these are the items and inside the items put is exist so we are populating the foods also okay in the vendor controller good all right so we are we are looking for like if order is exist then we will be looking for if order is let's say if order is not equal equal null then uh, return rest dot status will be 200 and in the suggestion response we are putting the orders right next uh, we are getting the order details from here okay so this is gonna be like in you know, the same thing what we will be doing here all right just copy this one and paste it here here this is not this is gonna be like user because anyway this uh, this um, route all right this functionality is it's already authorized here we are looking for authentication if authorized then and only it will go through so that means this user doesn't make sense for us only thing is uh, only thing is required here uh, this one this ID right and here also this ID is required so per process order uh, sorry get order details this ID right so in order details that ID will be adding like order ID that is not order ID okay request dot runs dot ID good then we will look for if order ID is present then order find or order find by ID this is not anymore find find by ID this ID we will be passing here order ID and the the, the this, this one this populate will be remain same okay and uh, rest of all will be good I guess orders and the order to find by ID and all those things will be in display here this is not order this is order okay. because we are looking for one single order right which is gonna be like simplify this ID only put order not found that's now uh, the two case part is need to uh, need to handle the process order so how the process order is gonna be work so that is we need to look into here and the in the burner vendor out if you are looking for like this ID also exists here and because the process order can edit the order order stuff um, the the order stuff in terms of here in the order section a couple of things will be there that's gonna be like order order status uh, we need to change so how we can change the order status and all uh, that is we will take that is we will take care but the couple of more things we need to add here um, that will be our remarks will be required remarks remarks will be kind of string okay and uh, next will be our delivery ID delivery ID will be a kind of string right and applied offers if there are anything uh, any offers uh, or any promo code is applied for that specific order that is also we need to keep track 
so that is we will uh, boolean keep boolean and next offer id if any offer is exist or added that is we need to also take care that is string and we need to add uh, some time frame in terms of like once you place the order the customer has to know like how much time it will take to get prepare the get ready this order so that ready time will put it here that is going to be like a number and it will be a maximum say let's say max max 60 minutes uh, it doesn't make sense like you know if it is taking longer than 60 minutes to ordering from outside the food will be get cold right <laughs> all right so we are putting 60 minutes that's perfectly fine but uh, that's a rough case of the 60 minutes and um, here just to get a review so why order id is required because uh, it's a keep tracking of the specific order which is going to be displayed in the customer's screen because this this is doesn't make sense to uh, putting some kind of uh, number like this way so it, it is not memorable so that's why we are putting this number so customer can give a reference of this order id so and um, from the customer care on and other people can keep tracking of this uh, customer um uh, the, the order id from here okay so for particular order order contents and all and vendor id will be required that is going to be for uh, for looking into how much how many order has been settled by the specific vendor to figure out this id is required and items anyway that the order can contain the food and how much unit it has that is going to be necessary and total amount will be required exactly that is uh, which is called like the total value of that order and then order that definitely is necessary and pay through also this is this is necessary this is going to be like uh, it's a credit card debit card or something and payment response that is going to be like uh, that is required for uh, response um, which is uh, from the the charge back or maybe in the pale cases or maybe customer w customer one that re refund so in that case the payment response is necessary and order order status will be determined order status will be time to time it's going to be changed uh, definitely uh, it is required just for uh, status in terms of like in you know, a waiting or prepare on the way deliver cancel or whatever and remarks suppose if uh, any restaurant or if any vendor is to cancel that order then they should have to put some kind of reference or some kind of remarks why that the order they have canceled okay that remarks is going to be very helpful in that case and delivery id that will that will be required for for uh, whenever that the once order has been placed to the vendor then a, a delivery boy or a delivery person will be pick it up these things and to deliver in your doorstep so without that delivery id we cannot track that the delivery is uh, and delivery is on the way or is it really that the specific person or the specific um, the parcel is tracking taking care of by a specific person that is we need to take care by delivery id and applied offer it is required to determine like uh, to uh, to get the volume of the business and all and uh, how much offer has been applied for the specific order by a specific date and that is that's why we are putting this one and offer id definitely if you are applied for an offer then offer id will reference will be required and ready time will see also gonna be like same in that way so let's um let's get all those things like you know uh, here in in the schema uh, quickly now uh, let's go to the vendor controller here and to, to process order functionality these are the possible stages so that is also it will be here in order status here okay here we can put these things or initially it's gonna be like uh, fail also some 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 other scenario in terms of like from customer side they, these are the two uh, which is we are directly determining from customer side and these are the things which is exactly we will be determining from vendor side okay mm, now uh, what we will do here uh, if the order IDs exist <laughs> Okay, this is order status or we are what we are putting right there. Status or order status. Okay, uh, here order status, right, it's order status. So here it's order status. Sorry, order status will be wait I guess not working here. 
Okay, order status. Order order status, and it will be our status. It will be our status. And next, what you will do? Order remarks. Order. Order remarks will be remarks. And again, uh, uh, and we will we will look for that the specific time. If the time has uh, any parameters, then only order dot time will be ready time will be ready time will be time good and finally what we will do we will look for the const const order order result will be await order dot save and if order result will be not equal to null then definitely we will return something return then the status will be 200 and JSON response will be put like order order result good and if something is going wrong or if it is not going through then definitely it is falling back to the default case that is will be here putting here and they order unable process order okay so you can you can try you can wrap these things uh, we do with the try case also that is also perfectly fine but the later on, as I told you in earlier we will be handling our all errors in a different way so we are we are just uh, keeping uh, that is as it is okay so now it's a time to uh, just uh, give a shot uh, in terms of like getting kind orders and order details and the process the order okay and then say yes. here a, a little bit correction here so what we are doing here uh, we are serving images uh, inside the directory and images that's that's directory will be uh, giving up this one only uh, this inside the service and it will look for the images directory okay what we will be doing here we will be just uh, constructing this uh, this path here okay const uh, path will be path.join that is gonna be like dire name directory name and we'll be putting slash image okay this and this image part we'll be putting here so that means it will look for uh, here in this image folder inside the source directory this image folder images folder okay image part we'll be putting here in this part side Thing. or others what you can do directly you can put these things here also that is also it's perfectly fine good now it's all done so what we are going to do now uh, we are going to create some kind of order from the customer here in the postman and we will be looking for uh, looking from the vendor that specific order has been placed by and uh, placed by customer for a specific vendor or not and we will be process that order okay so here mm, in the customer section a lot of tab has been open closed so these are the foods are available okay these are the foods are available from the first restaurant uh, uh, the restaurant name is the first restaurant and ID will be this one okay so I think uh, only one restaurant is exist here okay so we are giving these food items here and go to the customer add to cart add to cart here add to cart I'll be getting uh, grabbing one okay and next one also we are grabbing this this food okay now this food this is also grabbing one okay two puts are there so what we are going to do uh, in the create an order create an order here Customer create order. This is we are we putting here. We need, we need two, let's say, right? So uh, this this card section we need to hook up with the order. So that means 
uh, if you are adding the card, uh, next time you no need to uh, send the same data to the uh, create order only. So uh, in internally, it will gonna be work like it will look for the specific existing card, and uh, once you placing the order, it will fetch the, all those data from the card to the uh, to the the order. Okay, to to creating an order from the card card data. So that is that portion we need to do uh, additionally, um, but uh, not right now. So what we will be doing here and right now, we are adding some items to the uh, to the car uh, to the order. So uh, at least we can check uh, whether the process order is working perfectly or not. Um, here, again, this one also. Also, this one is unit one. Okay, and authorization in the comparison that's perfectly fine. So we are just creating an order here. So order has been created here. Good. Now, uh, now technically, what's going to be happen once you are placing the order? Then definitely the card has to be empty. It's already placed this order. So look from um, the vendor section here. Oh, go to the vendor section, vendor login, and this body. Okay, so this is our vendor signature. Okay, so order is empty. Why the order is empty? Because um, while we are ordering the foods, you know, here from here, in in the customer controller here in the creating the current order there is there is some additional information also required uh, from here right so we are going to close other files in order as you can see these are the information is required that is going to be like vendor id is required and the rest of all information at least the vendor id is required to get the data right because uh, from the vendor vendor controller to get order id we are looking for the vendor id okay if that the specific order is exist uh, by that uh, that the provided vendor ID then it will be available so here we need to do this modification first okay. if that the specific food ID is exist then we are just uh, um, we are just updating that in amount right so right before these things we are just adding the vendor ID in the card items what you will be going to do here right before the saving this profile stuff then what we need to do here uh, we need to just uh, make empty the the cards the card stuff here profile dot card card will be kind of as any Good. So now what we will be doing now we will be just uh, give a try from again here. Um, in in create order we are again going to create an order. Yeah, its order is created. Now now you can see the card is also empty now. Good. And here in the vendor section we are just looking for orders. As you can see now it is added right. So um, these these are the orders. Uh, one single order only. So sorry. Uh, so this uh, this is the order ID and this is vendor ID and these are the items exactly exist for that specific order, and uh, it is waiting. Order status is waiting. Good. So what we will be doing here will be just uh, uh, editing that order, process that order. Okay. So this get current order is perfectly working. So it doesn't matter how many orders are there. It's a kind of array, right? And so um, as many as order it is available, then it will be available here also. Now um, look for that this specific um, order in terms of like process order, right? So here, process order. So in the process order, what you need to do? We need to status provide the status, remarks, and time. And order ID is required here from from the route and vendor route here. This ID. So we'll be putting these things to process order. Here we will be putting this ID here. And body will be where let's say accept and ready time will be 30 minutes. So send. Now it is perfectly fine. It is working, right? So as you can see, this is the result of the order ID, and uh, this is the order ID. This is the order ID, and uh, this is the uh, status change state status, which is going to be like accepted and accept and ready time will be 30 minutes. Good. And uh, now, uh, if suppose something gonna be changed, then definitely we can look for that specific order ID by getting order details. Let's just paste these things here and send request. And 
now as you can see this is working perfectly right so so far we have whatever we have covered here today uh, in the customer section we have covered the uh, here and uh, and customer route the card section we have covered and as well as the in the vendor section we have covered that the order section also in terms of like getting orders process the order and get the order details in the next episode we will be working on the in the offer section for vendors and as well as the transactions how many order has been settled by that specific vendors and what are the what are the total amount which is going to be like you know uh, vendor will receive as a payout of weekly basis or maybe 30 days or some days interval that is we'll be working on the next episode thank you so much for watching this uh, tutorial series if you think really it is helping you a lot then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'll be definitely posting a new series and very soon uh, i'm just uh, trying to finish this uh, uh, project asap and your uh, your comment and your encouragement really matter for me thank you so much have a wonderful day